Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Tonight we're going to look at Git Blame. It doesn't do, uh, it does not actually not blame anyone for anything, but it shows you, uh, it shows you who did what. So how you're going to use it is of course up to you, but it's very, very uh, useful, especially uh, along with the Git log, so you can actually see uh, what happens uh, yeah, in different commits. Let's get right into it. So. I have a project right here. This is my uh, Spring Boot uh, Kubernetes project, and I've changed the readme.markdown file a lot. So usually, uh, let's say that I wanted to find out who actually uh, made a specific uh, change to this file, or may maybe I'm not interested in who, but I'm just interested in the process for this only for, this for one file only. Then, um, then of course I could use git log, but that is not that useful because it will actually just show me. Uh, the person who did something and it will show me the commit message and not the files uh, that actually were, were changed. We could actually get the files per, uh, per, per per commit also, but it's much easier to use the tool git blame like this and then the, the name of the file, readme.markdown like this. And here you can see that I was uh, in uh, and changing, um, I was changing the file a lot just uh, some minutes ago, as you can see right here. So we had something to look at and here you can see um, that yeah, we can have we have the commit ID. The we have that in the left side, and then we have my name, and then we have the timestamp, and then we have uh, the, the and then we actually have this is actually the the, the change that, that was uh, actually made. So let us uh, look at let us look at um, the, my project right here. So here we can actually see that this is actually the content of the file that we, that we can see. That was changed right here. Let's say that we were. Let's say that we had some error. Maybe um, maybe maybe some error occurred around here. It should have been one two three, but now it's one three two. First of all, let us commit this message right here. Uh, an error on purpose, like this. Now, of course, I did not have to push it, but um, then I could write the git blame again. And in this situation right here, um, I can actually see that I put in a line, uh, the line uh, th uh, th uh, three right here. Uh, and, then, and then I actually put in the line two just a couple of minutes ago, just a couple, couple of seconds ago. But let's say that I was actually interested in the changes uh, in those lines uh, only. So let's say that I was interested in line two to four, because I know that those uh, right now they're wrong. It should have been one, two, three, but now it's one, three, two. So let's say that I was uh, I was interesting. Uh, I was interested in those lines and I could write git blame, the file name and the minus L for line number. And then I could say two, two, four, two comma four like this. And now I will only get the changes made in the um, yeah, in, 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 in these uh, lines right here. And here you can see there are two commits where I did something. First, I, I typed in one and three, and then I the, the, the two uh, is actually uh, from the latest commits uh, just one minute ago. So here, uh, in this situation, I can actually see uh, yeah, uh, what, what actually happened. And I can also see, of course, who, that's that's why it's called git blame, but you can see uh, who, who did what. If I want, if I want the email instead of the, maybe I want to write this person, so maybe the email is more useful than the name itself. Then I can write minus e for email. So now I get the email of the person, and then I can write, dear Mike, could you please, uh, why did you, why did you change the order? It should be one two three. Why did you, uh, why did you write uh, one three two? Of course, it's it's even better if you can actually talk together in real life than in an, than writing mails. Mails, uh, mails usually don't uh, solve uh, anything. They just uh, Create more questions, and sometimes it can also create conflicts because it's um, yeah because it's email. So it's easier to yeah to, to call a person um, on some some uh, yeah on uh, on some FaceTime or Skype or something like that, or, um, and then talk about the problem. Um, there was something else I want to show. That is why I was slowing down a little bit. Um, yeah, this is actually quite it's actually quite smart. So let's say that you write minus C like this. Then um, then it will actually figure out if if I copied that uh, a snippet from another file, and if uh, if I cut and uh, if I cut a snippet from another file and if if I placed it in to this file right here, then it would it could actually see that and then it would actually find out uh, who was the original author and then uh, that author would actually be uh, mentioned. 
uh, as, as the person who actually wrote that uh, stuff right there. So minus C, uh, if, you, if, you write, if you add minus C, then, um, then Git will actually try to find the original author of those lines written right there, um, no matter in which file uh, it actually came from. And that's actually, actually it. Uh, I just wanted to show that I think this is uh, really cool. And uh, if you want to ignore white spaces, you can use the minus W, then the white spaces are ignored. Um, and uh, that's actually it. I think uh, my, I, I know that there is very few people actually using Blame. They uh, usually use, of course, uh, the integrated development environment, like uh, like IntelliJ, for instance. And then, um, then, they, then they can, of course, they can see the history there, and then they can go through uh, the history in there. But let's say that you are in outside in a command line, then uh, Blame is a very useful uh, tool. That is just what I want to show you tonight. A small, cool feature in Git named git blame if you have used git blame tell me the story in the comments it's always fun to get stories from you thank you very much for watching have a great evening and hope to see you again soon bye bye